Not every garden has a bush, but every bush apparently has a garden. In 1906, Adolphus Bush <sighs> opened his 38-acre uh, private garden. Uh, it was lush with over 100,000 varieties of plant life, and uh, I think they may have even offered the garden to the city of Pasadena after he had passed, and they denied it twice. One of the things I'm finding about the paths is the accessibility. Um, everyone can actually come out and reach a piece of history, uh, whether it's down by the horse trail and near the Arroyo, or <laughs> up at the main street, which is the, the Arroyo. Um, or was that the other way around? They're both Arroyos, whether it's on the wheel or on the river. Um, you can access portions of this park and its history. And uh, speaking of history, I really wonder how old those stairs are. It's nice to be able to walk through the, uh, I guess, officially, unofficially, uh, oldest theme park in LA. Uh, during this period when this park existed, there were other parks as well uh, that kind of sprinkled the, uh, the vast deserts of Southern California. Uh, Descanso Gardens, Huntington Library, uh, Bush Gardens, uh, so on and so forth. Some of them are still around and uh, unfortunately some of them they're not. Damn, I almost went over. That's how people die, by the way, is by doing that shit, trying to be cool. And then they fall over hills and then they die. But I didn't, so let's move on. You know, I used to cover news. The last thing I want to do is be it. Ooh, a shopping cart. I wonder if it's for the beer. It's not uh, hard to ignore, aside from the trash, um, as all parks have, uh, is the, uh, the amount of local stone um, that they used from the riverbed uh, to build a lot of these walls, you know, and I think uh, those are the keys to finding where these paths and these locations were here at uh, Bush Gardens. Along these paths behind these homes, I'm finding a lot of these stones, you know, and these stones are like been kept up by the owners, rebuilt. You can see them just going up along the side of the hills into nothing, you know, but it's cool that they're still preserving it in some way, shape, or form, considering that Pasadena turned it down again twice, twice. Trails don't go so crazy that you're gonna get lost here. If you feel like you're uh, lost, just look up. The street's right there and so are the homes. I mean, it's really not that far off the road. Life is funny, skies are sunny. Every time I do these damn hikes or walks, bring your sunblock. Bring your sunblock. But at least I'm hydrated and the car's less than 100 yards away. By the way, the Arroyo has some amazing bridges with some really, really rich architecture. And uh, I'm a bridge guy <clears throat> from the LA Rivers to, you know, the Golden State to Hollenbeck Park. You know, I like bridges, so. Uh, 
there's a huge amount of bridges for me anyway, so it was just like that gold mine after gold mine after gold mine. We're definitely gonna have to come back another day and spend some time on these bridges. Today I see one that I can access and we're gonna check it out. certain areas in the garden that almost feel like an archaeological dig. Um, it's kind of cool to find them. It's unfortunate that they're falling apart and not better maintained, but, you know, this is life. But this is stone. Oh, these are pretty cool. Let's go check them out. Walking around these steps almost makes me feel like I'm stuck in a nature painting. Does this sound crazy? Pasadena's offered 38 acres for free twice. They turn it down. Then they develop homes on that same property later on to say that these homes are protected by the Historic Landmark Society and they are not to be changed under any circumstances unless you got a lot of money, then we might look the other way. How much sense does that make? But I better make this quick. Shameless self-promotion. If you or your friends ever want to join me on one of these hikes or these excursions, we don't do anything illegal, not yet. But you're always welcome to join. We here call this here Pasadena. It's not quite LA, it's, it's Pasadena. Follow me on YouTube, subscribe, share, and like. Leave a comment down below. Tell me something you're interested in checking out.